the blank page, the paralysis of imagination. You walk around with little stories and events tucked in your brain, but when it comes time to write, silence. Just you and the page. It begins. The ball gets rolling, your fingers get typing, and all of a sudden, all those, those words just come pouring out of your fingertips like fire out of a fireplace. Before you know it, that blank page is full of the worst shit you ever read! Next comes the usual questions. What's my problem? Am I just the worst? Was dad right? Why didn't I just take a business degree? Am I gonna die poor? Should I text my ex-girlfriend? Maybe you were never meant to be a writer. Maybe you should have been a janitor. But maybe it's too late to be a janitor. Maybe it's never too late to be a janitor. And that's when it hits you! A high school janitor named Alan with one leg and a gay lover who's the superintendent of the school he works at. He can't come out to his wife because she pays the bills, but the son knows and begins to extort Alan by getting him to go into the cheerleader locker room and take pictures. Lots of pictures, too many pictures, pictures of things you shouldn't take pictures of. Then he gets caught, but the superintendent tries to save him. But why does he only have one leg? As per usual, another promising lead completely fucked up by your compulsive need to have your protagonist be missing limbs. Nothing like working all day and going to bed with nothing to show for it. Maybe tomorrow, you think to yourself. Maybe tomorrow. But you can't sleep because the voices are back. Crawling and creeping all around your fragile eggshell mind. As you're trying to sleep, you can't help but be prodded and poked by words, 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 terrible, horrible, truth filled words. All those little story bits that were so quiet when you were writing suddenly wash over your brain like a tidal wave. And then it hits you! But as quickly as it came, it goes. So there you are. It's four in the morning. Nothing to write. Night able to sleep. Unsure of your abilities? Covered in sweat. Smelly, stinky sweat. Gross. You're gross! So you do what your dad taught you and you turn to the cough syrup. And then it hits you! An insomniac who's missing an eye, the most unreliable narrator there is, unsure if he's in a dream, witnesses the murder of a child at the hands of a powerful businessman. As he looks for people he can trust with this, he notices he's being followed. Deciding to tell the world before he's murdered, he infiltrates the nightly news and exposes the man, only to be captured, thrown in a loony bin, and starved for days. He's visited by the rich man, and after being fed the most expensive meal he's ever seen, the insomniac is finally able to sleep. But you don't need sleep. Sleep is for the weak. You need to write! Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, Climax, Tension, Drama, Action! You think of the critics, the studio men in their sardine suits, unable to comprehend the majesty of your awe-inspiring creation. They fear you. And in strict defiance of the Hollywood foreign press, you push on, delving into forces and forms and story structures only known to the ancient masters. Sleepless nights turn into sleepless weeks, turn into sleepless months, writing, writing, writing. The typing itself, an act that pulls out the deepest, darkest bits of the human experience. First draft, second draft, fourth draft, cold draft, a howling wind, the face of God! Reality crumbles around you. You've been anointed by forces larger than you can comprehend to tell the ultimate human story, and it must be perfect. It's complete. It's perfect. Jizzle, 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 jizzle.
Thank you.